Hi, I'm Dallas. I'm from Meta Meta, and I'm interested in finding out about roofing. There's always going to be the need for a roof over your head. It might be a tiled or steel roof for your home, or a long-run corrugated steel roof for your place of work. It's the job of a roofer to keep out the weather and make it look good. Dallas is headed to Comag, a roofing firm based in Matamata. G'day mate, I'm Chris. G'day, I'm Dallas. Chris Henderson, operations manager and a director, will be checking out Dallas's head for heights at two roofing jobs currently on his books. So you ready for a hard day's work? Yeah mate, spring on. It was only 10, 15 years ago there was no such thing as a, as a roofing, you know, sole or solely roofer. It's, it used to be plumbers did everything. It's become a lot more of a specialist trade, like a lot of trades have. There's a lot more technical stuff that some of our roofers do today that the plumbers wouldn't have a clue how to do. Once you've been doing it for a while, anyone can pretty much lay iron. It's, it's the finishing of jobs and the flashings and getting looking good and, and, and being weather tight and staying that way sort of 20, 25 years and beyond. The tin tiles of this house have served it well for 40 years or more, but they've done their dash and they have to go. What we do here is uh, we'll take an area of, of old tiles off, leave it for the builders and we'll go away and take another area of tiles off. Then we'll come back and then roof the first part while they work on the second part. So Wade's one of our apprentices, he's been here with, with us for about a year and a half. He's going to show you he's up there working already so we'll, we'll introduce it to him and get into it. All right, Wade, this is Dallas, he's going to try his hand at roofing. We'll hand him over to you and we'll get into some work. Okay, Dallas, we're going to start off taking this hip off. This is the main area we're going to work on at the moment. You've got to be able to be good with the heights. Obviously, uh, at interview stage, it's one of the main questions that gets asked. Have you have you been at heights before? Because I do some people do get the uh, get the freeze bug. We'll start on your lap down here. You've got to be able to be pretty nimble and, and work at heights quite comfortably. And before you drop it off, just yell clear. Make sure no one's down there so it doesn't hit them. Clear. This sheet of steel has to be cut to neatly fit along a valley on the roof. All right, so grab your tape out, hook into your tape over, over that end. So come out 4 metres, 190. Get your pencil out and put a mark there. I'd say 90% of roofs these days are, are iron, simply just because of the speed that it can go on, and it looks good, and, and because of the speed it's going on, it's probably more cost effective than some of the other options. So yeah, there's a couple of main materials. Um, one's Endura, um, yeah, so these are the base materials of the colour steel that we use these days. Uh, you, most of the countryside would be Endura, um, and then you get Max, which is a, um, for more severe marine sort of conditions, so where salt spray would come off the ocean and areas like that. Roofers may have to replace poor or rotting timbers, add insulation, and line with building paper before a new steel roof is fitted. So there's Dallas, now we've chucked that sheet on and screwed it in. We're going to mark our purlins. So you need to put your hand like that. Make sure you've got a fair middle idea of the middle. I guess to start with, for a, for a young guy's perspective, is, is to work well with a team. You know, it's, it's a good part about this job is you, you have a good team around you, and you know it's, um, it's not a one-man job. And the roof is looking good, something Dallas can be proud of. Visiting the site today is team leader Sarah Williams from Skills, the multi-industry training organisation. So we have a number of strands depending on the kind of work that you're going to be doing in the industry. So metal roofing, wall cladding, concrete roof tiles, etc. So the apprentice will come uh, when he finishes the qualification or she finishes the qualification, they will come out of it with a level four certificate, which is very well regarded and will stand them in good stead in the industry. It also stands them in good stead with regards to pay parity and pay pay within the organisation. A lot of employers now base their pay rates around qualified apprentices. Chris from Comag, who recently gained a Roofer of the Year accolade, is rightly proud of some of his more difficult jobs. This, the Kaimai Cheese Factory, had a very steep roof with many safety issues to be addressed. There's, there's definitely lots of uh, curves and angles and, and sort of little tight corners that was involved with that. Uh, and then curved sheets and, and curved flashings are always a challenge, so yeah. Using roofing steel to clad the walls of industrial buildings is a roofer's job too. Horizontal cladding's um, sort of a feature thing for a building, so it will we'll help make a building stand out and, and look pretty out there. Um, so yeah, it's, the cladding's definitely a, um, a big part of roofing. There's a wide range of products and finishes for both domestic and industrial needs. Dallas is headed to Tauranga Manufacturers, Steel and Tube, to learn more. Huge coils of zinc and aluminium coated steel are lifted onto a machine which presses it into the shape or profile that's required. The length is accurately measured to each customer's requirement. Right, so here's some of the coils that, that are commonly used in roofing and in, in wall cladding for some buildings. Um, 
there's plenty of colours to choose from for the clients. There's actually 26 primary colours, which is, you know, there's quite a few more nowadays than what used to be on the market. Corrugate, the traditional profile, is still widely used. But there's many others. This is a five rib design. Time to head to another job. This one, a new McDonald's outlet in Hamilton. What sort of things will I be learning today on the job, Chris? We've got uh, the main section of roof on, so you'll be able to just have a look at that and see how it was done, and the boys will explain a bit about it. Um, that's actually uh, we had to put insulation in underneath the, uh, the roof before we could put it on. The building is now well underway. The gutters are being lined with butanol, a synthetic rubber membrane. It's another example of a roofer's job. The flashings, which is the work around the penetrations, are being made. Dallas is Avion, he's running this job, so I'll hand you over to him. And... Dallas, how you going? G'day, Evan, all right? Yeah, good, mate, good. We're going to flash this penetration over here behind you. So if you want to grab those flashings there, I'll meet you over there and we'll start from there, eh? So what we're going to do here, we're going to notch out the bottom of this flashing. Basically the same as what's happening up the top there. It's always a good challenge doing what we're doing here because you're always constantly learning and like, there's never a day that's the same really. And then tomorrow we could be doing a house with a lot of hips and valleys and everything like that. Yeah. And so you basically, this the sky's your limit really because you're always, you're always going up and up. Now we'll place this flashing down here. What we're going to do is tab these corners around here for this flashing to come down through. So we've got our folding pliers right on that line. I push down on hard surface and up. So what you'll find is your corners will try and um, dig in a bit. The best thing about the job is the variety, um, also the, the travel, you're not stuck in the same place or even the same town for too long. And, and also training nowadays, it's, it's training the young fellas and watching them grow, watching them come from pretty much being at school and a few years later being a tradesman and, and knowing what they're doing themselves, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty rewarding. Well done, Dallas. Job done. Yeah, no, he's done pretty well. He's uh, shown pretty of interest, which is always good. It's always good to have a bit of passion about what you do, so, uh, yeah, I'd look seriously at employing him. Of course, at the start, it's always going to be hard, but I've enjoyed roofing. There's still a lot to learn, but I'm willing to give it a go. The skills organisation manages industry training for all roofing apprenticeships. You have to get a job first. There are no specific entry requirements, but you need to be fit and have a good head for heights. The New Zealand National Certificate in Roofing Level 4 covers all types of roofing. Metal roofing and wall cladding, tiling, membranes and shingles. A growing population means job prospects are good. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.